American soldiers who have lost limbs in the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq often end up at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington for rehabilitation and to get fitted with prosthetics. Dr. Todd Kuyken works with these patients and others who provide him with feedback on a bionic arm he developed. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. Here, Dr. Kuyken explains his work on a bionic arm with the help of amputee and Iraq War veteran Glenn Lehman. Dr. Kuyken's work has focused on developing an artificial arm that can respond to the wearer's mind. What we do is use the nerves that are still left. Dr. Kuyken explains that nerves from the amputated arm are attached to the remaining muscle, either in the chest or in the bicep. Nerves that control flexing the hand or closing it are attached in different locations. Now Glenn thinks um, bend elbow and his left over biceps will contract and he uses that to bend his elbow. Here's how it works. Electrodes placed on the muscles act as antennas. When the brain sends an electrical nerve impulse to these antennas, the electrode activates the prosthetic arm or hand to move accordingly. With his new arm, Lehman can carry a tray or open a refrigerator door almost without thinking. Uh, it gives you the freedom of mobility back. Um, trying to do some things with one hand is kind of difficult. If you can imagine opening a can of peanut butter or, or a jar of peanut butter or maybe some jelly or spreading you know, it on toast, making a something as simple as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's very hard to scoop something out and spread it with one hand. Patients can even have nerves from their hands and fingertips transferred to muscles in their biceps. This gives them the sensation of touch. So if you touch that newly reinnervated skin, the patient feels like you're touching their miss missing hand. And they can feel light touch down to one gram of force. They can feel hot and cold, normal thermal thresholds, but they feel it in their missing hand. Dr. Kuyken yeah. says prosthetics technology is at the point where we're likely to see a growing number of advanced artificial limbs that will help amputees lead normal lives. Ready. Carol Pearson, VOA All News. Right, Tula, all right, you did it.